Hello, my name is Julie and this is KS Mom Crochets and today is Featured Photos Friday number 30. So before I get started, I just want to say a big thank you to Grace who um, commented and contacted me about the picture of the pattern that I showed that was by Cindy's grandmother and she knew exactly what pattern that was. So thank you so much again, Grace, for <clears throat> letting us know what that pattern was. Um, and I also want to say that I have been recording this video on a Wednesday. So if you send me a picture and you don't see your picture in this video, just know that I will always include it in the next one. So I did have quite a few people send me pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, again, I didn't take notes this time. <laughs> um, so I will be looking down at my phone. <clears throat> and um, talking about their projects. But the first person that sent me a picture was Kathleen. And she made Thumper the rabbit. And this, you know, obviously is inspired by Thumper from um, the movie Bambi. And I love him so much. He is so adorable. Um, this is a paid pattern by Karaka. K-R-A-W-K-A. And like I said, he is absolutely adorable. Now, she sent me um, pictures of him, like, without eyebrows. And then she sent me a picture with eyebrows. And, you know, I was telling her, I was, I was really excited, actually, to show you all the before and after picture. Because something so small as a detail of eyebrows can really bring an amigurumi to life and it can also give it such personality that maybe it didn't have before so I really am glad that you forgot your eyebrows and that you added them later um Kathleen because like I said it was an exa excellent example of what a small detail like that can do for a pattern but like I said I think he is absolutely adorable and I just love him so much and I always say this <laughs> every single time, but I just love those crocheted eyes. She always does such an excellent job on her detail work and on her, um, her crocheted eyes. Um, now the next picture that Kathleen sent me is called Echo the Elephant. And it is also designed by uh, Karaka, K-R-A-W-K-A -A on Etsy. And her name, I cannot um, pronounce it, but like I said, it is a paid pattern from Etsy. And I love this elephant. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, she said that she um, used a red heart. Wait a minute. She used baby rainbow, an Ogo yarn called Baby Rainbow. I'm not sure what brand it was. I don't know if it's Red Heart or something else. I'm assuming it's Red Heart. Um, which is 236 yards. And she said that she ran out of yarn. Um, so that she looked into her um, stash and tried to find yarns that went along with this. Um, so she did have to finish up the legs in that extra yarn but i swear i told her i was like i can't even tell i cannot even tell that she used a different yarn like she matched it so perfectly that it looks like it was part of the um you know the ogo <laughs> Um, but I do love this elephant so much. He's so colorful and so much fun. And like I said, another example of how you can take any yarn, uh, variegated, colorful, bright, uh, and you can take a amigurumi and make it out of that. And it just makes it so much fun, um, you know, because normally, normally people, when they think about um, animals, they want to do them like the realistic animals, but it's so much fun to go out of your comfort zone sometimes and find a yarn that maybe you normally wouldn't use for an amigurumi and it turns out awesome. And I just love him. I think he's so cute, which obviously I am partial to elephants. Um, they are one of my favorite animals. Um, so I definitely have a soft spot for this elephant. And like I said, he just makes me happy every time I look at him. Just because he's just so bright and cheerful and fun. 
so I think yes that is all the pictures that Kathleen sent me so thank you so much Kathleen for sharing your pictures with us I always enjoy seeing your creations and I always enjoy getting your emails and now the next person that sent me a picture was Marie and Marie sent me a picture of a gorgeous afghan that she made <clears throat> Now, I'm not sure what pattern she used for this afghan. She said that um, she has seen um, seen this pattern in several books from the from the 80s, and that she's always wanted to make it, and that she just now got around to, got around to doing it, and that it took her two months to make this, and it fits a full size bed. Um, she said that she used Hobby Lobby yarn. I love this yarn. And um, I just love the colors that she used. I, I know there was something else. Oh, yes. She said that the, um, she changed how that the hexes, because this is obviously a hexagon afghan. Um, and she said she changed how they are put together. She said the pattern had it to where you sewed them together. But she did a crisscross with the green single crochet stitch so that is awesome that you did that i absolutely love it and like i told her i absolutely love the colors that she used i think it's so beautiful i have never made a hexagon blanket <laughs> i normally um i normally do more simple um, because like looking at this and seeing all that color changing and all that attaching, um, that intimidates me. So kudos to you because I swear, I think this would take me like a lifetime to make. <laughs> I really do. And you just getting it done in two months is amazing. Like it's amazing. There's so many of those hexagons, um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, the colors that you used are perfect. They go perfectly together. And I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. And I just love it. I love seeing, um, seeing all kinds of crochet. So thank you so much, um, Marie, for sharing your blanket with us. I love it so much. And I'm sure even though I won't be able to link this pattern that you could, um, you know, find a hexagon pattern out there somewhere. I'm sure there are tons available for free. Okay, and then the next person that sent me pictures was Elaine. And as I've mentioned before, Elaine does have a YouTube channel. It is called Penguin Place Crafts to where that you can get a closer look at all of these projects. But she did send me quite a few <laughs> because Elaine is definitely a very busy bee. Um... Let's see. The first picture that she sent me is a dragon. And she said that this dragon is her own pattern, but it's not published because Elaine does sell some of her patterns. And she also has, sorry, I think I shook the camera. Um, she does have some of her <clears throat> patterns published and some of them are for free on her blog as well. And I think she has links to all that on her um, YouTube channel. Um, but she said she used a strand of boucle is that how you say that i think it's boucle and one strand of sport weight white and i have never used that yarn before i have never even like seen that type of yarn in real life but i love this dragon i really hope that you publish this pattern because that body style is my favorite um body style for a dragon um and I just love it I think it turned out awesome and I really do like the yarn that you used to and those eyes are perfect for it too they really really pop against the colors of yarns that you used okay now the next picture that she sent is a snake and this is called scrappy snake and it is her pattern she does have a pattern available for this snake if you're interested and she said she used two strands of the boucle um, yarn together to try to use it up. And he, he's really, really cute. Look at those eyes. <laughs> he looks like he's a little bit sleepy. And I just love it. I love it so much. I really do like the colors of that yarn. It works up beautiful. 
Okay, and then the next thing that she made is a gecko. And, um, let's see. She said that the pattern is mostly Greg the Gecko from Snappy Tots. But that she was running out of the boucle yarn. So that she, um, so she did her own thing for the legs. And she said she also used, um, two strands of yarn for him. So he's a big guy. <laughs> Let's see where he is at. Like I said, I'm looking on my phone. Uh, he is absolutely adorable, too. I really, really like him, too. I don't think I've... I know. I know I've never made a gecko. That would be fun fun to make, too. I really like that pattern as well. Um, let's see. Um, Fuzzy Bunny is the next one that she made. And it is um, Brush Bunny. By Karaka, uh, K R A W K A, the same one as earlier, and that is actually the spotlight designer for Amigurumi Wars this month. So that is uh, very interesting to know that. And Fuzzy Bunny is absolute, or not Fuzzy, is that what she said? Yes, Fuzzy Bunny. <laughs> Fuzzy Bunny is absolutely adorable as well, and you did an excellent job on your crocheted eyes as well. I really need to practice that. Sorry, my leg is going to sleep. <clears throat> I really need to practice my crocheted eyes. I really, really like that one too. And then, let's see. She made Happy Huggy Cat, which is also another um, design that's in progress. She is really, really busy. <laughs> um, and she said she's hoping to publish this one as well. And I love him. I think he is absolutely adorable. I love how that she used all those different yarns to make him. Um, that would that will really be a fun um, pattern to make. And I'm sure that he will love, <laughs> love hugging all the other stuffed animals. I remember you saying that before. Um, and that is so cute. I love him. And then, let's see, two more. So the next one is a Triceratops. And it is from Amigurumi.com. And let's see, she said, The pattern as written makes a little dinosaur about eight inches long. But when you make it with two strands of yarn and a K hook, you end up with a dino about two foot long. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is amazing. And like I said, I love that dark with the blue. Like that blue really, really pops on that. I really, really like him a lot. And you know, when I made this dinosaur right here, this is my seat buddy now. <laughs> it sits beside of me. But when I made that one, I almost made a triceratops. So we must have been on the same wavelength when we made um, our dinosaurs. Okay, and then the last pattern that Elaine sent me is called sachet bear and um it is patches the bear from one and two company but with sachet yarn as the skirt um she said the pattern calls for bulky yarn for the bear but um let's see the pattern calls for bulky for the bear with worsted weight for accents but she said she used all worsted weight and she just made adjustments on her own for that and that is just absolutely adorable as well. I love, I love it. It looks like it's wearing like a little tutu. <laughs> so adorable. So thank you so much, Elaine. And like I said, if you would like to um, see these patterns up close and personal, definitely go and check out Elaine's YouTube channel. I will have her link below. But like I said, thank you so much, Elaine, for sharing your pictures. Um, you're really inspiring and um, definitely, like I said, a very busy bee. Okay, so the last person, but never not least, that sent me pictures was Cindy. And Cindy made a squirrel. <clears throat> and he is absolutely adorable. Um, she said, the pattern is My Chubby Pet Squirrel from Big B Bez. Um, I will have it linked below <laughs> in case I said that wrong. She said he doesn't stand on his own, so she decided to come up with her own um, pattern. Um, you know, make it up as you go. She said grassy mound for him to stand on. 
Um, she said she hasn't sewn him down to that yet because she wasn't sure about it. She just propped him up <laughs> um, for now, but then she decided that it needed a little mushroom to go along with it. Um, she said she used a hook 2.75 and vintage Barocco yarn, which I've never heard of either. <laughs> the grassy mound was Red Heart Super Saver in green tones. And the little mushroom is also that vintage Barocco yarn. And like I told her, I never would have known that that um, stand, the, the grass at the bottom with the mushroom was not part of this pattern. It just looks like it went perfectly with it. Like, I don't know how else to, to say that. Like, it looks like it was part of the pattern. It just matches him so perfectly. I love it so much. And I love that he has that little um, acorn type satchel. <clears throat> that is just a perfect little touch as well. And I think you did awesome on the face. Now, I struggle with color changing like that too. I've only done that a couple times. I made a dog, um, a Boston um, puppy a while back. I think when I first started making YouTube. And I really struggled with that too. It's really, really hard. And I don't know. I still haven't perfected my skills on that. But I think that you did an awesome job. Like you can't even really tell where one color starts and one ends. And that's what I struggled with was the color changing part of that. But I just love him. I think he is absolutely adorable. I love his little tail. Well, his big tail. His big tail. And, and like I said, he is absolutely adorable. And the mound with the mushroom was just a perfect touch. And to come up with that on your own was just awesome. I love it so much. So thank you so much, Cindy, for sharing your pictures and um, your emails. I always enjoy your emails too. So that is all that I have for you all. Um, but make sure you stay tuned because later I will have another video coming out. So I'll be in the same shirt. <laughs> um, so hopefully you will look forward to that as well. Um, I do want to say that this video does come out every two weeks on a Friday. Um, but like I said, I do try to record a couple days early um, just to help with the editing process <laughs> because it does take a very long time to edit these videos. Um, but um, it, like I said earlier in the video, if you don't see your picture um, that you've sent in this video, and um, I will definitely add it into the next into the next one. So my email, if you would like to, I'm scatterbrained today. If you would like to um, share a picture with me, all you have to do is email me. My email is listed in the description box of all of my videos. And just put in the subject line, um, Friday video, video, something like that along those lines to let me know that it's okay to share because I would never want to share someone's picture that didn't want me to. Um, and also, if I didn't say already, this video does come out every two weeks. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you in another video. Bye.